In story mode, you're playing the game for fun. Work together to solve the crime and play the story you want to see. You ready for this? Of course I'm ready. Nice and easy. Textbook color. What's the play? Vote for choices by moving your pointer inside the box. It doesn't feel right. Let's scope it out. your pointer to hit the target before the timer runs out. Up now. To shoot, move your pointer onto the target. Think before you shoot. You do not have to open fire. Hands behind your head, no sudden moves.
I will shoot. Don't shoot! Hey! Don't test my aim, fucker! I am not gonna hurt her! Please help me, please get me out of here. Hey. Hey, hey. Easy. Easy now. Let's just take this nice and slow. It's not worth it. It's over. Trapper came to a dramatic end tonight as police from the 3rd Precinct arrested their primary suspect, Jonathan Finn. Finn is wanted in connection with a string of grisly murders that has gripped the city and claimed the lives of first response police officers. More on the story as it develops. Ladies and gentlemen, the accused Jonathan Finn is guilty. Of that there is no doubt. Your job is simply to determine how he is punished. This man, the so-called trapper killer, has terrorized our community with his brutal murder spree. Booby trapping his victims so our brave first responders became victims themselves. These innocent people were targeted for no other reason than to play out Jonathan Finn's sick game. Jonathan Finn has confessed to every single one of these crimes. I ask that the court consider Jonathan Finn's voluntary confession of his crimes. He has spared the victim's families a prolonged trial and in doing so has demonstrated a glimmer of remorse. Therefore, it is my recommendation that Jonathan Finn be spared the death penalty and instead sentenced to life in prison with no possibility of parole. Thank you. Jonathan Finn. You have committed crimes of such a depraved nature that this court has no alternative but to sentence you to death by lethal injection. This court is adjourned. Tap the logbook button on your app to read plot updates view character biographies, and check the major ripple events affecting your story. I am Ray Weaver, and this is The Crawl. Let's kick it off tonight with our very own homegrown villain, Johnny Finn, The Trapper. Sucker's been on death row for five whole years. Mr. Trapper's only got 48 hours left on our big blue marble, so I thought, hey, did you know one of the victims? Phones are open. Call the one, you're on. Hey, so, well, yeah, man, I mean, in my point of view, like, they can't fry this son of a bitch hard enough, you know? I saw he got messed up as a kid. I mean, that's no excuse to take it out on our finest boys in blue. I hear you, but it ain't like our cops got the finest reputation, you know? Look at Marnie, for one. Promotion to homicide, metal, the works. This gal's on top of the world, and guess what? Turns out she's dirtier than the rest of us down here in the mud. Mishandling evidence, improper conduct... Who knows what else? To him. Guess you never know who's one of the good ones. Morning, everyone. Caught another pair of John Doe's this weekend. We're quickly racking up red names on this board, and I gotta tell you, unsolved cases don't exactly uphold the reputation we've built here at this precinct. Just put Marty the Magician on the case. I hear she's got a knack for making things disappear. Son of a bitch. Detective Calvary? I pretend you didn't just say that. You're dismissed. Ignore.
for him. Calvary? Everyone knows he only reported you because you're the biggest target. Glad to know my accomplishments have earned me something. You doing okay? No. No, not really. I feel like it's some big cosmic joke that Dick has my future in his sweaty little hands. I know it feels like that, but they got nothing. So just lay low, keep a wide berth of cavalry, it'll blow over. Gee, thanks, Mom. Detective Marnie, can we have a word in my office? Look, Marnie, I'm not supposed to comment on an ongoing internal affairs investigation, but if it starts affecting my best detective... I'm sorry, sir. Hey, don't apologize. You're a good cop. I have no doubt you didn't do anything to compromise the crime scene intentionally. The facts will speak for themselves. Thank you for believing in me, sir. You know, it sometimes feels like we don't have a choice in these things, but you do. You got me? Yes, of course. I want to believe that, but I know the trap was set for execution in 48 hours. It's a heavy load. Knowing you sent someone to death row, I don't want you to be distracted. Finn's execution can't come soon enough. A whole lot of folks agree. I know I do. I'm gonna guess none of those folks are looking forward to a good night's sleep as much as I am. Hmm? The fact that he's still breathing keeps me up at night. Got your message. I'm heading to see your client now. Sorry I couldn't make it back to town. I'm not crazy about meeting Finn without his attorney present. I know. Thank you for talking to him so quickly. Well, he doesn't have much time left, does he? No, he doesn't. You want to give me a little preview? It can be kind of a tough nut to crack. Uh, be strategic. Great. Any tips? You need to get him to talk about Adam Jones. Who's Adam Jones? Better you hear it from him. You got a plan? I know how to get what I need. Call you after. Your attorney says you've got something you want to share with me? You've got five minutes. Piss around and I'm out of here. Miss Graves, I did not kill anybody. I used to blame God for what happened. At Las Palmas? The orphanage? We were just kids. We trusted them. But I've forgiven them now. God teaches us to forgive. You can't forgive your abusers once you've put them in the ground. Forgiveness doesn't work like that. I didn't kill anyone! Finn, calm down. Calm? I'm about to fucking die! And nobody will know the truth. What do you mean? What truth? I'm gonna die a liar. A dirty sin and liar. Truth about what? The confession, the murders, everything! Oh, so now you didn't kill them? The chaplain, the orderly? Then who did? I'm sorry, Finn, but your time is up. Wait! Please, Miss Graves. We're done. It was Adam. Adam Jones. From the orphanage. I'm listening. He was my friend. Went through the same hell as me. He killed them. It was Adam, not me. I'm listening, but you have to give me more to go on. Adam and I, well, we've seen some shit together. Makes you close. Adam escaped, and I found drugs. I was high from the moment I got out of there. And a couple of years later, couple of centuries, hell if I know. Adam tracks me down online. And he keeps writing me and writing me and bringing up all that old shit from the orphanage. He says he knows exactly how to make him pay. So we made an arrangement. I rat myself out, I take the heat off him, spend a couple of months in the clink and then wham! Trapper strikes again. Can't be me, cause I'm in here. Makes sense, right? Pretty convenient. Convenient? Convenient is Father Raminsky running an orphanage. 
Fox in a hen house. You have no idea what it was like in there. The playroom. Well, that's what he called it, but I think he was the only one who was having any fun in there. Cops never found it? No. Well, you can go see for yourself. I'm not even sure if the orphanage is still standing. So where is he? Adam. Now? <laughs> no idea. How can we find him? Gotta start someplace. I got a place. Where? It's not, uh... It's better if I draw you a map. You gonna draw me a treasure map? All I can do is point you in the right direction, but, uh... Nope. You got words. Use them. I kinda need to show you myself. Sorry, Finn. No dice. Never even in the game, was I? I can't take it! I'm not supposed to be here! It's not supposed to go like this! Finn! Stop it! This is insane. Adam told me this wouldn't happen. He told me I'd be out by now. He promised! Finn, listen to me. I will look into this, Adam Jones, what you're saying, but even if it's true, it might be a day late and a dollar short. I'm sorry. How do you think? I got a report back on Adam Jones. He was at Las Palmas same time as my client, but he died in the same fire that closed it for good. Look, I know where you're going with this, and it's not gonna work. There's no way they're letting Finn out. It's too flimsy. I know. That's not what I'm after. Then why bring me out here? If you tell the judge about Adam Jones, maybe he'll grant Finn a temporary release and help the cops track down Jones. Lana? It's too late. It could lead to an appeal. All we're doing is delaying the inevitable. Adam Jones is reasonable doubt, Felicity. I never wanted the death sentence, but I just don't think this is enough to stop it from happening. Finn is not a good man, but he is not the trapper. And if he dies, the trapper is still out there. Yeah. You're right. Let's take it to Judge Vanstone, see what happens. Thank you, Felicity. Don't thank me yet. Thank you so much for seeing me so quickly. Miss Petty already filled me in on this whole Adam Jones business. Yes, sir. Uh, I just spoke with Mr. Finn. Now, in my experience, you light a candle under a man's ass, you can fly a balloon out of his mouth. Sir? Are you buying his story? I have... Doubts, but we do have a record of an Adam Jones at the orphanage, same time as Finn. Has anyone spoken to Jones? He's been presumed dead for years. That's quite a stretch, don't you think? <laughs> well, even if Jones exists, how can you be sure Finn can track him down? There's no way to know unless we try, sir. You're full of surprises, Miss Graves. Well, if you were in my position, what would you do? I don't think it's my place to make that kind of decision, sir. I'm sorry, Miss Graves, but Finn has gotten into your head once and he's doing it again. He's clearly a desperate man, just dredging up anything he can from his past to delay the inevitable. There's just not enough here for me to take any action. Finn stays put. The execution will go on as planned. Hey, Lana. No go, huh? Yeah, Vanstone's mind's made up. All right. There's one more thing you can do for me. I feel like you're running out of favors here. The police and homicide won't talk to me. They think I'm just as bad as my clients. But they'll talk to you. I don't know. I'm not sure homicide will talk to me either. It's over in a couple hours either way. For Finn. <sighs> God damn it. Fine. I'll let you know how it goes. 
and I need a raise. <laughs> then you should have gone into corporate law. Don't you know that crime doesn't pay? <laughs> yeah. Sounds like a load of fresh horse manure. Case is airtight. We caught him in the act, for Christ's sake. You want to tell me why, exactly, we should be listening to that scumbag? I'm sorry to spring this on you. We all want the same thing. A man is about to be put to death, and we need to make sure he deserves it. Oh, Jonathan Finn deserves it. Of that, I am sure. Who exactly was Adam Jones? Did he come up at all during the investigation? Uh-huh. There was an Adam Jones at the orphanage. But you know what? Sorry fucker was killed in the fire that shut the place down. So the story kind of ends there. Finn's got impeccable timing. You don't think he's full of it? I think... I think there's something there. I just want to put this thing to rest before Finn's put to rest. Finn tells me Rominski had a secret room at the orphanage, called it the playroom. It's where he held his extracurricular activities. Does that sound familiar? No, I'd remember something like that. That didn't come out in the report. I was wondering, uh, Mr. Hillary, so when you analyzed the bodies of the Trapper's victims, did you find anything that might suggest there could be another suspect? Gosh, that was five years ago. I would... I don't think so. So no reason to suspect anyone but Finn? I do recall only, you know, submitting a partial analysis of the evidence because Mr. Finn confessed, so it seemed open and shut. So there was more evidence left to analyze? Well, yeah, trace signatures. Do you have access to all that data? Now just hold on a goddamn second. This case is closed. Finn had motive. He went through hell at Las Palmas. He hated the police. We even found his hair at another crime scene. The RV park, right? That was the social worker. And uh, Detective Marnie, would you mind walking me through that night again? I'll walk you through it in two words. Missed opportunity. Could have had Finn in handcuffs right then and there. I think I'd like to hear from Detective Marnie, if you don't mind. Uh, sure. Catherine Hope was a social worker at Las Palmas Orphanage. We didn't know Finn had her. We got a 10-8 at Hog Haven Trailer Park out by the highway. A break-in in progress. I was closest to the scene, so I went solo. Should have been a piece of cake, but that night everyone was on pins and needles because the trapper was raising cane and any one of us could have been next. This is 609 on the CFBIP. Open exit on the highway. No perp. Gonna make an entry to the trailer. 609 acknowledged. Caution advised.
Search for the clue shown at the top of the screen. Use your pointer to highlight the clues before the timer runs out. Some of these clues could help you in the future, so try to find them all. Okay, okay, okay. Just keep quiet. Who did this to you? I... I was in the bar. I... I don't know. I woke up here. Oh, God. Please, help me. Please. What's happening? Okay, I'm gonna remove the timer. Carefully. Oh god! Oh my god, get me out of there! Ah! Oh my god. Shit. Shit. God damn it! No! Oh god! Oh god! It wasn't the kind of thing I'm eager to repeat. Finn must have seen you coming. Cut out before finishing the job. Yeah, split so quick he left his gear behind. It was very brave of you to go in there alone. I was, uh, just doing my job. And, um, uh, how did you link Finn to the scene? I discovered that Mr. Finn had left a hair at the scene. We ran the DNA through our criminal database, and he came up as the match. He was already in the system? Finn had been in and out of the station so many times, he practically had a door with his name on it. When we got the tip uh, that he'd been spotted at a squat, we just happened to be driving by. Shit just seems to fall on your lap, detective. At least I caught him, dick. Uh-oh. Mama Bear's got a temper. Watch out. Okay, okay, let's ease up on the pissing contest, all right? Let's at least try to pretend to work together. The Trapper case shook everyone up. I think we've poured enough salt in all our own wounds for one night. Sergeant. I think that about covers it. Is there anything else we can help you with? All right, I've heard enough. Thank you, everyone, for hearing me out. And thank you for eating up our entire afternoon with this shit. Hey, Graves. Yeah? I just wanted to say that Calvary's a dick. Yeah. Don't worry about it. You were really helpful. Oh, hey, what are you doing tonight? I... what? I've got a huge stack of files at my apartment. Not gonna be able to get through it on my own. Okay, sure. I can help you with that. Perfect. Call me.
A rat trap? Huh. Yep. Found one at each of his crime scenes. Some kind of messed up calling card. I had no idea. We managed to keep it out of the press. Target number one, Rupert Walsh, the undertaker. After he killed him, the trapper rigged a shotgun to the motel door and the officer who got the call took it in the chest. Simple, but messy. Not a guarantee he killed the responder. Was there anything more on the victim? I mean, he's the only one without a connection to Las Palmas, just a local gin hound. Finn called it a dry run with a wet noodle. I guess that was his idea of some kind of sick joke. But then again, if he's not the trapper, I... God damn it. This case is just the gift that keeps on giving. Ricky, do you want to take a break? Oh, I'm sorry, I... It's just, this was all ancient history. And staring at these files again, Finn's execution coming up, I, I don't know, it's... It's been hard to sleep with this shit just running through my head. Well, the good news is it'll all be over before you know it. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Second target, nasty piece of work. Oh, this is the one that would beat the kids till you couldn't recognize them. LeMay. Orderly at Las Palmas. A couple years before the orphanage, narcotics had a file on him a mile wide. But they couldn't get anything to stick. Slippery son of a bitch. The trapper left his body in a pitch black room, rigged a light fixture with C4. The cop who showed up flipped the light switch and let there be light. He's definitely elevating here. I mean, his first real kill, more sophisticated, but he wasn't satisfied. Third target, Father Rominski, leader of the pack. Chaplain at Las Palmas and the man behind the abuse. Allegedly. Yeah, allegedly. The trapper knocked him out, cut him open, and rigged him up with explosives to blow if he moved. We got a tape of the whole thing a few days later. The sick fucker made Rominski kneel in prayer for hours, confessing his sins. When he got what he wanted, he called Sergeant Teller. Did you know the other two cops? That was my precinct. So, all three of them, and you, a first responder in the botched attempt, all from the third precinct? The murders were in our district. How well did you know the other two? I mean, how well did you know the other first responders? Enough to know that I didn't like them much. I got out of there as soon as possible. What if the first victims in each incident were just a smokescreen and the real target was the third precinct? Interesting. Yeah? These three cops, they weren't exactly best of the boys in blue. How so? Third precinct had problems of chemical variety. They were using? Yeah, and then some. I'm surprised this never came up in the investigation. I'm not. Anyways, you might have something. What's up with you and Calvary? No, there's a guy who's got it coming. <laughs> you couldn't even cut that tension with a chainsaw. Calvary's just got a stick up his ass. Why is that? Well, for starters, I'm the one who nabbed the trapper, not him. He can't stand it. Okay, he's had some time to get over that. Yeah, you'd think. But he keeps messing with me. How so? Just because I'm good at my job, I have a target on my back. I'm sure that's not true. Yeah, easy for you to say. My dad's not around to fight my battles for me. No one has it easy in this town, okay? This is 125 at the 1016. Make an entry. 125 acknowledged. Caution advised. This is the police. Anyone here?
Oh, dear God. Sir, can you hear me? They're still sorting through the mess. Becky. My God. Excuse me, would you please stay clear of my working area? Thank you. From when we can piece together, it seems like Calvary brought a prostitute. Oh, God. Brought her back here where, uh, you know. Track her down? Only got a partial description. 20s, brunette. Great. Calvary put a whole clip in that wall and didn't hit one thing. Only blood here is his. And off some Montesinos. The responder? Calvary's body was rigged. Traps. <gasps> Fuck. really him. Anything? Nothing useful. Becky, I'm sorry, but I have to ask you this. Where were you last night? I, uh, I spent the night, or uh, the evening, with Felicity Graves. Going over files. All night? Yeah. So? Shit. What? You need to be very, very careful how you handle this. Why? You gotta make sure you account for all your whereabouts. Everyone knows how you and Calvary felt about each other. Tom. You have to be careful. Do you really think I could do something like this? Listen to yourself. I'm not accusing you. Oh no, but it's the first thing that pops up in there. You can't blow up. You know what this looks like. Be smart. This isn't happening. I wish it wasn't. I hated that fucker, but I would never do something like this. I believe you. You shouldn't have to believe me. That's the end of part one. Check the logbook, fix yourself a drink, and hit the box when you're ready to move on.
And now, part two of Hidden Agenda. Hey, Simon, how you holding up? Um, hanging in there. A lot of extra work whenever there's a freak on the loose, I guess. Okay, okay, guys, settle down, listen up. Hey, listen up. We lost a cop today. Another one won't be returning to active duty. And it could have been even worse. I know it's gonna be tough on all of us, no one here ever thought we'd see the day that Jack Calvary went down for the count. He, uh... Well, let's be blunt, he wasn't the kind to catch his flies with sugar. But he was one of us. And this atrocity cannot stand. And what about the bomb, sir? Was it intended to kill us? We got lucky. The blast exploded outward from the body, so when Hillary moved Calvary, the bulk of the force hit the wall. I'm grateful I still have my hands. Yeah, me too. Montesinos, not so lucky. So you really think this is the trapper? Could be this Adam character. Could be the hooker. Until we have reason to believe otherwise, we are treating this as a trapper copycat. It's entirely possible that Jonathan Finn is somehow pulling the strings from behind bars. We have District Attorney Felicity Graves here to help with the investigation. She is familiar with the trapper's M.O. She's here to help. Please extend her every courtesy. Detective Marnie, I'm going to need you to look into Calvary's old Trapper case files. We're looking for links here, anything we could have missed. Yeah, sure. Got it. Okay, time to get moving. Just remember, Jack Calvary is watching from whatever shithole he ended up in. Let's do him proud. Hi, Miss Graves. How are you holding up? It's tough losing one of the ranks, no matter how it goes down. But thank you for asking. Let you know if we find anything. So I've been going over it in my head. What? You needed an alibi for me at the crime scene. Do you really believe that I had something to do with this? Becky. I asked you a question. Will you let me through, please? I'm your partner. We have to be honest with each other. Honest? Fine. Here's honest. Everybody knows about this beef between you and Calvary. Some of these guys, they don't think you're all there. You've got to start watching out for yourself. Tom, you're accusing me of murdering a fellow officer. You had motive. I'm just doing my job. You're my partner, Tom. How can I forget? We're supposed to be on the same side here. I'm not on your side because I'm your partner. I'm on your side because I'm your friend. And you got more around here than you realize. Why do you think Rick's put you on case review? He just wants me out of the way. Maybe. Or maybe he thinks you'll actually find something. Adam Jones was definitely at Las Palmas, same time as Finn. Allegedly died in the fire that shut the place down. Now, according to Finn, Jones grew up to be the trapper, but how can that be possible? Doesn't make sense. Back to the beginning, The Undertaker. The one target Finn had no clear motive to kill, no apparent connection to Las Palmas, Widow claimed to have no idea why Finn would want to kill her husband. Maybe five years have given her a fresh perspective. I'm gonna go see if she wants to be chatty.
Yes? Miss Johnson, what do you want? I'd like to speak to you about your husband. What are you, a cop? I ain't got nothing to say to you. Yes, ma'am. I'm a detective. I'd like to ask you a couple of questions about your husband. Yeah? Where was y'all when I called at 2 in the morning to get him to stop hitting me? Where was the cops then? Now you got a lot of questions for me. Maybe now I ain't got time for you. All right. You gonna tell me exactly what it is you want to know? Well, I'm very sorry to hear that your husband treated you like that. Sounds like he had it coming one way or another. Yeah, one way or another. That all you wanted? I'd like to know if um, your husband ever used the services of a call girl. <laughs> what are you kidding? He suck his pecker in everything from high price spreads to gutter cleaners. I gave up keeping score. Ma'am, have you ever heard of anyone by the name of Adam Jones? A kid named Adam used to help my husband out sometimes before he lost his undertaking job, but that was a long time ago. Could this be him? Maybe just grown up a bit? Mmm, well, yeah, could be. Yeah. Are you sure? Take a good look. Yep. I say that's him. Well, thank you for your time, Miss Johnson. in pursuit of an unknown suspect. Average height, dark hoodie. If these killings are connected to the Las Palmas orphanage, Father Rominski is at the center of it. It's just too bad that the rest of the clergy took a vow of silence the minute things started to get hairy for him. But Finn told Felicity that Rominski had some kind of secret room at the orphanage. Couldn't find any reference to this in the police records. I guess it's time for me to head over to Las Palmas and take another look.
Palmas. Hey, so no secret playroom that I could find? I don't know what Finn's talking about. All right. Let's not waste any more time on this. Let's get back here as soon as you can. Copy that. May. Orderly at Las Palmas. In and out of the third precinct lockup for years, but known for his uncanny ability to avoid doing any real time. Seems likely that he knew people on the inside. If the third precinct cops were the trapper's targets, well, he connects both worlds. His brother, Vernon LeMay, works in sanitation downtown. I'm gonna pay him a visit. Have a little chat. <laughs> this is 609 in pursuit of suspect. Party made foot bail. the right to remain silent. Huh. Anything you say. Can and will be used against me, yeah. I've heard that before, lady. Not so fast, are you? Ain't looking too good right now, Vernon. I guess low-life numbskull just runs in the family, huh? What? Quit dicking me around. This is about your brother. Adam Jones. Ah. What can you tell me? Bro mentioned him once or twice. Said no matter how much he wailed on him, the kid would just look back at him with these big old dead eyes. Just taking it. Bro could do whatever he wanted, no matter how much the bastards complained. Cops weren't gonna touch their golden goose. Why is that? You know what? I think my mouth just got tired. I think it's time for my lawyer. I know my rights. Elaborate. I'm gonna spell it out? He supplied. For everyone. Yeah, you're gonna send me up the river? You better make a hell of a lot of extra room. Why is that? Because I'm taking half the police department with me. Get this piece of shit out of here. This stuff about LeMay and the guys in the third precinct, is that the... what you were dealing with back then? 
Teller was the ringleader over there. Kept his cards close to the chest. But I knew something was up. That's why I left. You have to tell someone about this. No reason to dig up the dead just to drag him through the mud. Yeah, I gotta keep that blue nice and clean, huh? We have bigger fish now, Tom. Eight twenty three PM, revisiting the crime scene of Detective Jack Calvary's murder. Can I have a closer look at the bedroom first? It's not that big of a place, but I always have to wonder if the forensic team missed something. Marks spread outward on the headboard from the, um, the origin of the blast. I can explain. Yeah, well, you damn well better. I will. I will, just... Could you start talking? I needed to know. Know what? About you. What were you trying to find out? I know you and Calvary had issues. I was putting it mildly. That's exactly my point. The inquiry? Jesus Christ. You too? I have to look at this from every angle, Becky. You know that. If you wanted Calvary out, then you could have used Finn's confession dependent on the trapper. That's opportunity and motive. You're right. And so is this oh right God. now. Oh, God, please. Please, Becky. Who is he? Who am I? Who? I'm sorry. For you, for you to think that I could do this. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <sighs> Okay, that's the end of part two. Hit the box when you're ready to move on.
And now, part three of Hidden Agenda. I went back to the crime scene to see if Forensic missed anything, but came up empty. Wait, did they clear you for that? Uh, not exactly. <sighs> Jesus, Becky. What? Any evidence you found will be inadmissible. Uh, well, it's still a lead. Thanks. When Calvary was investigating the Trapper five years ago, he had one big blind spot. Prostitutes. The first target, the Undertaker. Met with a hooker the night he was killed. I wish we could find the hooker that was with Calvary. That'd at least be a place to start. Maybe the Trapper is using a hooker to lure his targets to a premeditated murder site. I just... I don't even know what to think anymore. I feel like everyone's out to get me. Don't worry, Detective. You're safe with me. I'll cheers to that. Maybe Finn's right. And Adam Jones is the one behind all this. But if he really is the one doing all this, where is he now? You know what? It's pretty late. Ah, <sighs> yeah. My advice, sleep on it. Take all this to Surgeon in the morning. All right. See ya. Hey, Lana. Check your email, now. What email? Oh. Whoever did this makes a compelling argument Marnie killed Calvary. Well, more than just Calvary. Play the audio. Cannot believe the mouth on this Marnie chick. We gotta be careful, or she'll blow this whole operation. What'd she say? Threatened me. Us. All of us. She's out of control. Someone's been holding on to that for years. Did you recognize the voices? No. Should I? It's been confirmed. There are two of the officers killed by the trapper. Look, Marnie's been weird, and yeah, she had motive. And? She didn't have opportunity. How do you know? She was with me the night that Calvary died. Ah. Uh... I mean, if she didn't, it'd be one hell of a trick.
Judge Vanstone? Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Oh, God. What? What, what did she do to me? What did she put inside me, goddammit? Uh, Judge Vanstone, I, um... What is it? It's the trapper. You're... You're, you, you, you're you rigged. I, uh... What? Oh, no. No, 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 no! It's oh. probably an, an, an explosive and... Shit. Oh, oh, God! How's your head, Detective Marty? They're coming for you. They know you did it. They know you killed everyone. There's no escape. You're the trapper, Becky. Who are you? Why are you doing this? You might just come out of this alive. If that's any consolation. But you need to listen very carefully. If you will notice, there is a small heartbeat tracker on Judge Vanstone's wrist. It is synchronized to a cell phone that I have surgically implanted into his stomach. The phone is just a timer. But every beat of his heart knocks another second off. The faster his heart races, the quicker the clock. Now, would you care to guess what happens when the numbers reach zero? Game over. For anyone in, say, uh, a hundred foot radius, give or take. Which will most likely include all the police who are swarming in to arrest you right now. Why are you doing this? What's your end game? Well, it's certainly not be analyzed by a two-bit cop. Sometimes killing is the only option. What? You can try to run, but I can't promise you I'm not gonna pop that balloon a bit early. And there's enough explosives in there to level the whole floor. Jesus Christ. I left your fire on for a reason. Stop the heart. Stop the timer. You can't be serious. I can be whatever I want. You can be alive or you can be dead. That's your choice. And the clock's ticking. So what did he say? Are you gonna get me out of this? What did he say? Could you get me out of this, please? Please, 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 just stay. Stay calm, stay calm. I, 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 oh, shit. If the timer reaches zero, then we're both dead. How much time? Not that much. But the calmer, the calmer you are, 
more time that we'll have to figure this out, okay? So stay calm. So, if you take this phone out of me, it can't hurt me, right? You gotta get it out of me! So what do we do? What happens next? I don't know. She was so close, but... not close enough. Becky was with me the night of Calvary's death. All night. So if she didn't kill him, that means the trapper is still out there. Felicity, I know you think you're helping, but all the evidence, it points to Becky. But she's innocent. I mean, don't you guys stand up for each other? Don't you guys have a code? There's only one shade of blue, right? Yeah, right. It's just a line he fitters at the academy. Earlier today, Judge William Vanstone was kidnapped from his home and tragically murdered. Detective Marnie was killed in the explosion that killed Judge Vanstone. Officials have confirmed that Marnie is considered a suspect in the slaying of fellow detective Jack Calvary. An investigation is ongoing. Sergeant Riggs made a brief statement to the press only moments ago. This is a dark day for the police force. But I can assure you, we are taking every step, including a rigorous internal investigation, to ensure that this kind of travesty of justice will never happen again. I don't know if Detective Marnie was a trapper. I can't prove that. I know she had motive, opportunity, maybe. I guess it comes down to whether or not I trust her. I've been asking myself that for a long time now. Becky Marnie seemed to be a troubled cop. Why did you cover for her when you had problems of your own? Back then, man, I was higher than the ISS. You know what I'm saying? The, uh, International Space Station. Can I go now? Uh, yeah, well... Marnie covered her tracks like a pro. She was on the force, so she uh, knew exactly how we would think. In my uh, expert opinion, I suspect we'll never know the extent of uh, Marnie's deception. Very intelligent, manipulative, willing to take anyone down to get her way, especially those who trusted her. But hey, at least she can't hurt anyone else. Yeah, I... I don't know. I just... It just doesn't make sense. I thought she was onto something. I don't think she's behind this. I trusted her. I... I trusted her.
Thank mm-hmm. you.